This is my tutorial for sexy windmill tracers. When I start this, I start with my thumbs facing inward. With my right hoop, I'm going in reverse over my head. And with my left hoop, I'm going in forward weave over my head. It's just like the windmill move. Then, when I add the hoops together, I start with a normal windmill, that's right hoop going in reverse and left hoop going forward, and then I bring it down to my shoulders and to my hips. Notice that my hands are together and that as I rotate, each hoop goes over my shoulder and switches to the other side. You really have to turn your body. So start with your windmill, then bring your hands, trace your body up and down. Trace it from your shoulders all the way down to your hips and try to keep the infinity sign intact. Now of course you can do the windmill the other direction as well. So this direction your left hoop will be going in reverse and your right hoop will be going in forward. So start the hoops left and reverse, right and forward following each other over your head. Then apply the same principle. You want to keep your hands together, trace down to your hips, trace back up to your shoulders, switch, trace down to your hips, and notice how much you really have to turn to keep the infinity sign intact. Let's watch both of them again. This is right hand in reverse and left hand in forward windmills. Trace your body up and down. Then do the other direction. Windmill, trace your body up and down. This is one of my favorite moves and it leads directly into the meltdown, which will be another tutorial coming soon.